Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Melissa Benoist and her new production company, and what it might mean for the future of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, yesterday we talked about this in my video, but I wanted to actually make a separate video where we can talk about it in detail and what it could potentially mean for the future of the Arrowverse. And so I'm really excited for Melissa because she's going to be stepping into a producing role with Warner Brothers Television, staying under the banner that she's currently in with Supergirl. However, she's going to be producing, she's going to be show running, she's going to be creating shows. And so she just founded her own production company, which is called Three Things, which is a reference to a poem. And so I'm super excited for her, but let's go ahead and break it down. What does it mean? Let's read Melissa's statement and let's read some quotes from this Variety article that I'm reading off of. So, Melissa Benoist and her team will develop and produce original TV programming for all platforms that includes drama, comedy, event series and other formats for Warner Media outlets such as HBO Max, in addition to other streaming services, cable channels and broadcasters. Three Things' mission is to be, and I quote, this is from Melissa, meaningful projects that are unapologetic, brave, and authentic, with a goal to explore stories that lead with impact. And so Warner Brothers goes on to say, Everyone at Warner Brothers Television is extremely excited to continue our partnership with her as a producer. So they're talking about Melissa here. We look forward to working closely with Melissa and her team to develop new and compelling series that reflect her fearless and indomitable spirit. So let's break down what this could mean. So with Melissa's first statement and what Variety actually says is that her production company is going to be producing original TV programming and they state that it could be literally anywhere in regards to Warner Media and their outlets. So they say it could include drama, comedy, event series and other formats. So that means drama fits under the category of Arrowverse, basically. Event series is like a sort of mini-series or something like that. Comedy is obviously comedy. And other formats, you know, there's other formats of TV out there. So they're going to be producing content not just for like the CW or something, but they have stated HBO Max specifically. So I reckon there is going to be something coming on HBO Max pretty soon. And so in addition to this, they say other streaming services, so ones with Warner Brothers connections, and then cable channels and broadcasters. And so their deal being so wide, it basically means she can show up on anything. Like, I'm pretty sure she's going to do something on HBO Max, that's for sure. And then if she wants to return to the CW, she can return to the CW because she's got the broadcasters, and then she can return to... All of these other places, she could be on CBS because that's under Warner Brothers Television as well. So that's where Supergirl started. So there is a whole bunch of options and there is totally the opportunity to return to the CW and the Arrowverse, including HBO Max because HBO Max stuff is also linked to the Arrowverse because most of the CW shows go to HBO Max in their new deal because they used to go to Netflix but now they're going there. And so it's all linked and they're in talks to co-finance projects together. So. There is definitely a link there and Melissa could totally return. And so her statement saying she is shooting for meaningful projects that are unapologetic, brave and authentic with a goal to explore stories that lead with impact. That pretty much sounds like Supergirl, right? Very meaningful, unapologetic in their views and the way that they portray things. It's extremely brave and it's authentic. That is what you get and that was one of the main reasons why I think Melissa has enjoyed Supergirl because she gets to see the fan reactions like all the little girls out there or the teenagers growing up who can aspire to a superhero like Supergirl. So I think this is a definite good sign for fans of the show. Okay, so let's just move on from this. So the CW is under Warner Brothers TV. So they're under that banner. That means that Melissa can totally come back if she wants to the CW and produce shows. So Melissa has a long standing great relationship with them over the past six years since being on Supergirl and you know she's the main star she brings in them a bunch of money she brings in a lot of viewers and if she wants she could totally come back to the Arrowverse post Supergirl but not as a star but she could definitely come back as a star but I think it would be in the role of a showrunner of a producer 
So what happens if she show runs her own Arrowverse show? I think that would be really exciting and it's really good to see recently that so many of the stars have been stepping behind the camera. David just directed a new episode of Supergirl the other day. You have David Ramsey returning to the Arrowverse behind the camera. With Arrow ending, he's come back, so with Supergirl ending, there is precedent to say that Melissa could return behind the camera and maybe even set up her own show rather than like directing on Legends or The Flash or something, but she could totally do that if she wants to come back and direct in Vancouver. She could actually run her own show, and so that's why this deal was really exciting because there's a lot of opportunities, and I think for Arrowverse fans and CW fans and fans of Supergirl as a whole, can maybe look forward to something in the near future with Melissa returning, but like in a more showrunnery kind of role. And so obviously that is just me theorizing and there's no confirmation on that. However, everything that is said in these reports does suggest that maybe she would be keen on returning, but instead of being in front of the camera, she would come behind the camera. And so could this show that she could return to the Arrowverse with, will it be a Supergirl spin-off? And I think if she does come, unless she finds a cool character like Wonder Girl or something like that, she could definitely do a Supergirl spin-off. And so now let's go in to my theories and ideas about what spin-off shows could happen after Supergirl ends. So, number one. My number one theory is a Legion of Superheroes show because people have been theorizing about this for a long time and it's definitely out there and I think it would do very good for the CW. There is definitely the fan base already set up for that because they will get all their Supergirl viewers over and people who like the Legion in the comics and people who read them would totally come over and be like, oh my god, it's a Legion of Superheroes show. It's like kind of like if you got like a Justice League show or something. So she could run it. And maybe because Chris Wood, her husband, who was also mon on the show, has directed and produced a bit recently, he has been working behind the camera and he took a break from acting. He recently returned and he might return in Supergirl this season, but that remains to be seen. He could totally showrun it with Melissa because I think with her setting up the production company and him doing more stuff behind the scenes as well, I think he's going to be making some TV shows and what happens if they come back together and show run together a Arrowverse Supergirl spin-off. That would be super exciting, that is my dream and I think a lot of you guys would love that as well. And so yeah, a Legion show could totally happen, it could introduce new characters from Legion of Superheroes who have been theorized about and talked about and mentioned in the show, but who have never shown up. So. This would totally link back to Supergirl as Melissa knows the world so well that I think it will be the ideal kind of show for her to start with or you know at a later point maybe she makes one other show that is separate from the Arrowverse then she feels I want to return to the world of Supergirl I want to bring back cool and important characters like Nia now and I'm going to get to that in a minute but I think Melissa's statement actually does ring true to everything that encompasses the character of Nia and with Nicole Maines being the star or one of the stars of the show that would be a really compelling point for her I think for Melissa and her production company but also for Arrowverse and Supergirl fans. So they could bring back characters like Brainy and Nia that is the obvious choices I mean, if Jeremy wanted to come back, he could return as Win. But I think those two characters, Brainy, Nia, and then potentially Jean could return if David wants to come, would be like the core spin-off characters in this Legion of Superhero show. And then you would introduce new people like Lightning Lass, Lightning Lad, and anyone that they come up with and they would like to bring in. So I think this is a really good idea. Let me know, do you think it's any possibility that Melissa may return with a Legion of Superhero show? And do you think she's going to be working with Chris Wood? I think it's nearly 100% sure that Chris is going to be working on at least one of these shows. But again, it remains to be seen what shows she's going to run, but it could definitely be something like this. Okay, so I have another theory for another show, another Supergirl spinoff that could happen. This is a Dreamer spinoff, titled Dreamer rather than a Legion of Superhero show. Obviously, I mentioned that Nia could return in that, but I think a Dreamer spinoff is definitely a chance as well. It's got a good shot out there because number one, Melissa loves Nicole and Nia and Nicole on TV as the first transgender superhero it is so important. And as I've mentioned, she said in her statement that she wants to lead projects that are unapologetic, brave, authentic, with a goal to explore stories that lead with impact and Nia's story 
leads with impact, that would be a total knockout idea. And it fits into her statement perfectly. It fits into everything that she has said that she wants to do. So this Dreamer spin-off I think is a possibility. If she does return to the world of Arrowverse, I think she's going to bring back Nicole either way. And even if Melissa doesn't return, I think Nicole is going to return at some point on one of these shows. Because I don't think they're just going to throw away Nia. Because it feels like a shame that Supergirl is ending. Especially with someone like Nia who has had a few seasons. But I feel like there is a lot more in her. And it's potentially wasting her by ending the show. And if she were to never show up again, that would be a huge shame. And so I could totally see Melissa running a dreamer show. Coming up with the idea and having Nicole Maines return but this time as the star of her own show. And so with this, like the Legion show, you could have people like Jesse Raff returning as Brainiac 5, you could explore her origin, and then you could bring in Dream Girl, her relative who is a character in DC Comics. So there are a lot of opportunities, and I think with Melissa's deal, it's very exciting for fans of Melissa and who want to see what she is gonna do next. I would say there is a pretty much 60% chance or so that she re that she returns but as a showrunner to an Arrowverse show, but there is always the chance, maybe like 40% chance that she won't return and she'll just make new TV shows that aren't superhero related but are under the banner of Warner Brothers. But I don't know, I have a sneaking suspicion that she's going to return somehow but as a showrunner. But that is it for today's video, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did like it and you did like my theories, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, tell me what you think about all of this down below. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see